great weekend. Today, we are going to be talking about computer programming for robotics. Yes, these are robotic cameras that we're going to be operating using IP computer commands in computer programming languages. We're going to introduce you to this new topic, and Tess is going to do a little coding today. Ah. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to share this with you guys, a whole new use for our cameras. Do you want to do a little sample now, or would you rather wait? Let's, uh, we have a quick little clip I want to show you guys before we fill you in on all the fun stuff happening in the next two weeks. So if you came to learn a little bit about robotics and computer programming, let's show these guys what we got. PTZ Optics is proud to announce our brand new computer programming for robotic camera guide. This guide and included online course will review computer programming languages used to control the robotic movements of PTZ Optics cameras. Students will learn multiple methods of remotely controlling robotic actions with a sample IP connected robotic camera and HTTP protocols. Using IP protocols and connectivity methods, students will use standard programming languages such as HTML, JavaScript, Node.js, Python, C, and C++ to take control of precision robotics. This course is supported by a fully managed GitHub repository of sample codes, which include detailed README documentation. Students can refer to the github.com slash ptzoptics page anytime to access the downloadable open source codes and fork their own versions of new projects. Please reference the PTZ Optics Computer Programming Grant Program for more information about obtaining a PTZ Optics camera with special educational or research project pricing. Below is a list of programming languages discussed in this course. HTML, JavaScript, Node.js, Python, and C, C++, and Visual Basic are all coming soon to our documentation. Each unit of this course will review a different programming language. Each programming language unit will include a review video discussing the pros and cons of each programming method as they relate to robotic camera control. Each segment will consist of a C4 camera control coding challenge segment, which will be used for students to test their knowledge on each subject. Finally, in-class discussion topics are provided for the full flipped classroom blended learning experience. Students are encouraged to watch the Geek Out podcast session with concluding thoughts from the course authors, engineers, and computer programmers available in the included online Udemy learning course. Each course segment will include a programming language overview, an example code review, a camera control coding challenge, and a podcast geek out session. By the end of the PTZ Optics Computer Programming for Robotic Camera course, students will have a better understanding of common computer programming languages used for remotely controlling robotic devices over an IP network. Using a fun live streaming IP connected camera from PTZ optics, students will have the ability to write custom computer programs, which can include live video and robust control over robotic actions. Each example lesson will increase in complexity as students progress from basic HTML into more advanced computer programming languages. This course will require the following, a PTZ optics camera, a computer with a text editor, a GitHub account, and a local area network. The following videos and course segments will start with basic camera controls over an IP network. The course will then move through each programming language, explaining the unique properties of each. Follow the programming language overview sessions, and the course will review the importance of GitHub as a central social coding destination for your project. From here, the course will dig into well-documented code provided by PTZ Optics available via GitHub. Let's get started. What do you guys think? First of all, I'd like to thank Tess for finishing up all of that code. Of course. Yeah, that took you a while. Yeah, but here we are, and it's finally ready to be brought to the public. <laughs> no, but seriously, our great coders in-house, Cameron Pearson, Matthew Davis, uh, Jeffrey Robinson, all the guys have been working on this project. Thank you so much. Jonathan Vineyard, 
we're working on bringing more to you guys. Right now, there's an open source plugin for OBS written in C++. I'm trying to get it on into Django, which is actually what Instagram's built upon. Mm. Uh, Java. Now, is that and, DJ or? Uh, yeah, DJ as in Django. Uh. But anyway, um, take a look at the latest HTTP commands list available on our downloads page if you're a PTZ Optics customer, because you can do quite a lot with them, especially with OBS. I did a video a little while ago about how to build in custom, using the web browser input, HTTP requests to cameras, which you can integrate into the scenes of OBS and other uh, software. But I figured, Tess, since you, you wrote all this code yourself, you could show everybody how to do a basic action uh, using an HTTP command. Okay. That relates to our cameras. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. First off, let's get this out of here. We're going to talk a little bit about this shortly, um, but we're going to need some space here to do this. Okay, okay. 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 What do we have here? So Tess is going to write an HTTP command, uh, which does require the camera's IP address. So Tess is writing up here, HTTP colon slash slash the camera IP address. Why don't you just put special code there for the, um, for the command string. Okay. And then there's an action. And actions can be all kinds of different things. It could call a camera preset. We'll do um, zoom pan in. speed and tilt speed. Okay. And then there's uh, multiple variables. So uh, Tess is going to put two markers for variables, and I'm going to briefly show you kind of uh, the way I think about okay, setting Okay, so you're going to have to up. check this. All right, so let me check your work. Okay. All right, so what we have here is the I'm HTTP the command, okay, and then the cam's IP address. So whatever your camera static IP address is, you want to know that, let's say it's this. Uh, there's a special code in our HTTP commands uh, referencing the directory of which your camera uh, would be calling. And then there's an action. And for different calls, there are different actions. So for example, zoom in might be an action. Zoom out, for example, might be an action. And then there's variables. So the variable might be the pan speed or the tilt speed. So that And these have ranges. So there might be a range of like 1 through 22 for tilt speed and 1 through 20 for pan speed, something like that, for example. You build out these strings, and then you can put them into all kinds of computer programming languages and control a robotic device. So this is a lot of fun. We're building out our support on GitHub. We'd love for you guys to fork your own projects from our open source code available on GitHub. It's pretty exciting stuff. I can't wait to... Uh, for to see what you guys come up with, especially for these kids in robotics programs, computer programming. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this kind of stuff. So that is just a taste. All these videos are published on our YouTube channel already. So you can take a quick course, a couple hours, learn about how to use robotic cameras and use really great computer programming. So there it is. If you want to go find that playlist, the email that I sent you guys before the show today has the link directing you to that playlist for the free course to get started for you, your kids, your students, anybody interested on in really diving into a real life applicable situation for programming a robot, which our cameras are. Yeah, I can't wait to get out into the field. We have multiple robotics programs who reached out to us. This is kind of a result of a few of those projects. So uh, some high schools that we've been working with that have robotics programs, we're going to be going out to those schools and talking to them, working with them. And so you'll see some on-site really cool stuff going on. Let's dive into the squares. All right, so let's get started. So today we talked about computer programming for robotic cameras. You can learn more at ptzoptics.com slash robotics. That's our little robot friend there to help guide the way for you. <laughs> Next, moving on, we're going to be talking about a secret new product announcement. Some very exciting things coming with the oncoming of NAB, and we're going to hopefully share a little bit of information on that with you. Yes. So the information that we can tell you is that we're going to announce it right before NAB the Thursday before. Okay. Okay. So we're not going to stream on that Friday because we're going to be in planes going to Las Vegas the Thursday before. We're going to bring that bring that up with you guys. Next is the Streaming Idiots Meetup Tuesday night from 5 to 7.30ish. We're going to be having an open bar. Uh, you're invited to come hang out with a bunch of great people in the streaming industry at our booth, C3360? 26. 3326 in Central Hall. 
in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, once you register for that event, we will have a pass waiting for you at one of the sponsors at that event's booth, which includes PTZ Optics, Magewell, X Keys, and VMix. So be, be sure to uh, register for that. We also have a very, well, not us. There is a very special NDI-related event happening at NAB Show. If you're there, Paul can tell you a little bit of information regarding that because it's one of those things that you want to know is happening if you're lucky enough to be in Vegas in a few weeks. Yes. So if you're lucky enough to be at the NAB show, don't miss the new tech event, which is happening Sunday night before the show. The public is welcome. This is happening in North Hall, which is the top hall next to the Westgate Hotel. And that is at 5.30 p.m. There will be uh, a little bit of an open bar, networking space, and then really great presentations from Andrew Cross, the CEO of New Tech, and many others. So take a look at that event on the newtech.com website and don't miss it because that's going to be a lot of fun it's really close to our booth too yeah i really like that they moved that this year uh, yeah to the actual convention center special special announcement mr paul richards has now uh involved his third installment of a book abc2 streaming with schools paul let me tell you guys a little bit about that Let's the accelerated it. broadcast club curriculum this is for broadcast clubs I interviewed coast to coast from New York to California, multiple different broadcast clubs, and learned some of the best strategies for how to organize broadcast clubs all the way into creating a course for students who want to excel in this extracurricular learning available at many schools today, broadcast clubs. This is available for free at, or at least the first six chapters at streamgeeks.us slash abc2. You can download it on Kindle on you can buy it on amazon and soon it will be available as an audiobook really want to do our part here not only to work with computer programming and robotics clubs but also broadcast clubs so this book is now available and also see paul richards in guinness book of world records for shortest amount of time to develop and write and publish books <laughs> you'll see a big picture of him moving on there is only about a few days left if that to grab your free NAB show pass as an attendee. The code represented by PTZ Optics is LV3384. So make sure you take advantage of that. Sorry, the photo's missing from this one, but we're keeping it simple with this square. So make sure you grab that, guys, because that will expire. Boom, last oh, bit. Oh, this is me again. We want to reiterate the schedule for NAB and the live content that we will be bringing there on Monday. We have Dr. Andrew Cross to start off the show. We have Majewell. Tuesday, we have VMix and Jeff Adams. Wednesday, Tom Sinclair and X Keys. And Thursday, Blackmagic Design and Mimo Live. Their interviews are actually going to be swapped. And we've got tons of other great additions. We're hosting, so proud to host, live use content at 11 a.m. Pacific time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and at 3 p.m., Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we will be hosting from the NAB main stage to talk about some hot topics in the industry this year. A lot to follow along with. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in so far. Tess and I are going to head over to our other set to talk a little bit about what we see happening in computer programming and robotics clubs. Tess has a sister-in-law who's in charge of one. Yes. Hopefully we'll get to work with her. So stick around, guys. We'll see you in a minute. Crazy. I'm thinking we might not even do those. Um... All right, we're live, I believe. Hi. Hey. We have now mastered teleportation. <laughs> Ask us how in the guide you'll find in the link of the description. Yes. That's a guide you're going to want to download. Now, we do have some questions that we've accumulated yeah, during the show today. Do you want to cover yep, some of them? Sure. Saying hi into the chat today. I remember we have one here on Twitch. Is this mostly covering Visca? Our coding. Program. Oh, good question there. Um, so uh, we will not be covering Visca so much as HTTP commands. Uh, generally, we'll be talking about HTTP commands. Um, <laughs> and uh, so 
No, it's not necessarily Visca. There is a Visca over IP node.js server application, and that is available on our GitHub account. One of the things you're going to notice from here on out with PTZ Optics is our GitHub account is going to be growing with lots of great repositories of source code. So there is a Visca over IP resource there. Um, but generally, keep your eye on the HTTP CGI commands that are available for programming with almost any computer programming language. Dan Slider wants to know if we are using the mixed hologram technology. I wanted, I, you know, I, we, I was going to ask you about update. that. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Dan. You really blew my mind with that on VMix Show earlier this week. I was sitting there with Paul and Michael. And I was like, how the hell did he do this? And we figured it out with a little help from Tom Sinclair, I believe. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'll okay, tell you about good. it later. All right, thanks, thanks. <laughs> a special shout out to Stuart. Hi, we wish you were able to join us in NAB Vegas. Hi, Chris, Will Klain. Hi, everybody. You can see that Edgar. we have a little slider camera here that Melissa's going to cut to from time to time. We're so uh, happy you all could join us. It has these really cool effects, and uh, we've been having a lot of fun with it. Interesting comment, green eggs and spam. Are the Hi. HTTP commands... They're a little bit too slow for world, real world usage. Um, that is a question I'm not sure about. Um, there is a Visca over IP server that you or open source code that you can use with a Node.js server. So that is a good question. Just to note, this program that we've started is really um, we were you were thinking about students. Yes. So this was made made to be like a kind of like a basic. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe not something that you're necessarily using in your event production, but something mm -hmm. that somebody who's trying to learn to code can achieve uh, acquiring these movements with our cameras. Yeah, I mean, the idea is that robotics and computer programming are converging in a way that's going to be quite interesting in the next decade, let's say. So we're trying to build out the resources, whether it be Java. JavaScript, Node.js, Python, C, C++, Visual Basic, and I didn't even know what Django was, but apparently Django... As well as Zebra. It's another one. Monkey. So by making these Shoot. repositories of source code available, uh, it's just an exciting time to see, to see what students and computer programmers... In fact, if you just go to GitHub uh, right now and check out... You can out, get it. You can get it. But you can also um, see what other people are using. And there are people in GitHub who are designing Blackmagic controllers with PTZ Optics integration. So cool. it's, it's happening out there. Lots and lots of people are using PTZ Optics cameras and posting their source code for the world to use and fork. That's one of the great things about GitHub. We get, it's, it's social coding. Wow. Yeah, Even nice. coding is social now and and interactive. Yep. All right, Richard says, I just finished reading Helping Your Church live stream. Good reading. Thank you, Richard. I hope you enjoyed that book. It's a, a fun one, and a few of the chapters apply to broadcast clubs as well. Kyle, perfect. Kyle is headed to NAB. We're yes. excited to see you again. And yes. he's interested in discussing this topic more there. It sounds really interesting because he is the mentor of the robotics club at his school. Duh. What? That's awesome. Well, there's a couple things there. One is Kyle, send me an email. Anyone who is interested in this, ptzoptics.com slash robotics. Uh, we're trying to put together a special educational program that you can sign up for there. And also, um, the documentation is, is good. It's really good. Not only is there documentation that takes students through the basics of the computer programming languages that we have published uh, in not only just written form, but also video form. So I actually have recorded the entire courses as well for students that want to learn in the flipped classroom, blended learning environment where they might want to take some of this uh, content home, learn at their own pace. Uh, for, so it is designed for robotics and computer programming uh, students. And then... Um, we also have a program for schools to help get with educational discounts. And then on top of that, the code itself, okay, the Python code, the... Melissa, I'm calling you out. You got to switch cameras before you pan. Oh, no. Okay. Well, Derek, we are so happy that it's Friday as well. I'm happy it's Friday too. Um, so the code itself is commented very well. So it's do it, the documentation is, is, is meant for students. Larry Allen says, any chance you might be including some Objective-C or Swift for programming on Macs? You know what, Larry? I'm so glad you said that. Uh-oh. Let book me write coming. it down. Book coming soon. No, I'm not going to write a book about it. But Object, you know, Mac is, is, is uh, that's, that's, 
That's very smart. Now, Python obviously supports Mac. I'm going to write that down. Can, how can I um, write Objective that down? C or Swift. Okay. He's writing it down literally right now. <laughs> Eggert says, your cameras are the best. Love them. Well, we love you for saying that, Eggert, and we think so too. What are you using them for? Who um, else do we have? Do we have <laughs> any more questions? Because otherwise, we'll just go over to our podcast and we're going to talk with the whole team about what we think computer programming and robotics is all, all headed. I don't think we're going to see a bunch of robotics at NAB, at the National Association of Broadcasters show. Except for the Mr. Moto one. Oh, yeah. That, that one was actually, the coolest thing maybe, ever. Maybe we will see more of that. That's the one Do you where... Do explain what that was? Okay, right in the um, Grand Lobby, which I figured mm -hmm. out what it's called. There okay. it was, and hopefully will be this year. And if you're there, you remember a giant robot arm um, that would take video or pictures from you moving almost all the way around you in slow motion. You had like 15 yeah. seconds to dance when they would say go mm -hmm. and it would do a slow motion thing. Of, I can't explain it. Well, it was fast motion. It was, it was, it was, so what happened was he knows that the, technical the terms. arm had the camera on it. The, the camera clearly had a fast frame rate camera in it. Okay. And so it would zoom around and everything, but then on the playback, it would take all those the fast frame rate and slow it down in slow motion. It was so cool. You might have Super seen it in cool. some of our intros and outros and video content. So yeah, robotics. You know, actually two years ago, Red Camera was showing all kinds of robotics. So robotics is moving into broadcast in the on the high end. Now here we are, PTZ Optics, working, let's call it more on the lower budget end, on robotics. What can we do from a computer stand, computer programming standpoint to increase the functionality of our projects? Who knows what people are going to come up with? I believe it. Kenny... Thank you so much. He says you are doing a stellar job with training materials. Look forward to visiting PTZ Optics NAB. Can't wait to see you, Kenny. We can't wait to see you. A couple more questions here. We're almost through. Girash, ptzoptics.com slash robotics is awesome. Thank you. Sweet. Um, do you have something similar for production? No. Well, we have a well, lot of production materials. Yeah, a lot of production materials. Maybe not coding. Um, I mean, I don't... This is a little bit specific because it is geared toward educational institutions and organizations where robotics and computer programming are being used in an educational or research program. Motion so, control. That's what. Um, that's what this is for. So we're really excited about it. Finally, James, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Says any tablet-based programming for custom remote control surfaces. Ooh. See, these are the things that we need to start thinking about. In the chat room, if there's a specific computer programming language that you want to see programmed, let us know. We got some, uh, sorry. That's what we're looking for. What computer programming language do you want to see open source templated code? Because that's what we have essentially right now is code that is like open source mm -hmm. and just ready for you guys to just like, here's the base of what you need. Here's the template. Download it. Fork it on GitHub track your changes, you can branch out and do all these different kinds of things with it. That's what I want to have built. Got We're not it. going to build the programs for you per se, but we want to have like the foundational code of like, here's an, something is learned by example. Showing people examples of something being done and then people saying, okay, I'll take that example and apply it to my specific unique application. So let us know the computer programming languages you guys want to see on GitHub and I, we should be able to make it happen. Final, uh, some clarification here from Girash, but an educational program for video production. That may be approved. Uh, you just need to give us as much information as possible in the project registration uh, form that we have available, and it may be approved uh, for the special discount uh, for educational purposes. Green Eggs and Spam setting, has Python Visca Xbox, Xbox controls. Oh, yes. Um, I want to talk to you about that because if you could please email me, I may even be willing to pay you to uh, make that code available to our community. Let me know. Daniel, we're so glad you were able to upgrade your system to, system to two PTZ Optics cameras, yes. an IP joystick, What's and with the a word I can't pronounce. These microphones are coming with the Decolonization. Us this is just kind of, we're trying these babies out. All right, guys, I think that takes us to the podcast. All right, we'll see you guys in the podcast in just a moment.